Hello and welcome to joint design. In this video, we're going to show you how to design a joint for a toy. It could even be used for a puzzle box in some way, shape or form, a whole multitude of things. But essentially the way it, it's going to function is you can see this little robot that I've made, well half made anyways, and his arm can rotate like so. Now, of course, this is just the constraints, but let's actually take a look at what the arm looks like on the inside and figure out how this actually functions. So here you can see the arm itself and essentially it looks a little different than what it was on the body or the assembly you saw there. Now there's a peg in here and that's what's going to actually give you the possible actuation. Now this type of joint will allow you to either fit it or glue it, whatever you feel works best, but it also depends on your limits of fits of your 3D printer. So you can see there's a peg and then there's a bevel and then a spot for it to rotate. So I'm going to take a look at the drawing I made and see what some of those dimensions are. So here you can see I started off with 0.6125 outside diameter for this piece here and then I made 15 thou smaller all around to make it fit. I did 15 thou because I know that that'll fit for my printer to allow me to still have gapping for it to rotate and that's what's going to work nicely for this. Another thing you'll notice is this is 45 degrees and this allows for no supports so that you can print both pieces together and essentially you're going to be printing on this side flat to the, the bed of your printer. Lastly you'll see that this is 0.235 which is 15 thou smaller than a quarter inch which is the whole size of the body and 0.39 which is 15 thou bigger than 0.375 or 3 8 which is 15 thou bigger than the portion on the body. So let's take a look at the body and compare how they fit. So on the robot here you can see that there's actually a very simple piece that it can fit into and depending how you tolerance it you could easily just slide it in and let it rotate freely or again use this portion here and here to actually glue the other pin into place so that it stays more permanent. Again entirely up to you. So a very simple design for the arms on the body portion. Let's take a look at the drawing and see what the dimensions are. So on the body of this, you can see that there's three key dimensions and this is what stemmed all my other dimensions. So I have a quarter inch diameter here. I have three eighths outside di diameter and then 0.41, which is 20 thou longer than the pin. So if we go back, you can see 0 0.39, 0 0.235, and 0.39. And this essentially allows you to have spacing to slide it in and slide it out without any interference. If you want it to be an interference fit, you can try that, but you might run into some difficulties and that's why I said gluing might work better. Here you can see the fits of the arms and you can see that it's 0 0.0075 and that's essentially half of 15 thou gap on either side of the arm pin and the body opening. And this essentially is tight enough to get, take it in and out without any um, struggles, but at the same time um, allow you to have enough space if you want to glue it in place. Lastly, this bevel here is just to make it easier to put it in when you're assembling it, but essentially that's how you can make a different style of joint to have mobility in something that you're designing for 3D printing. So one thing to note is when you glue this in place, this will be able to freely rotate because of how you designed it. But if you didn't, it might rotate along here or here if it's freely moving around. So hopefully that helps. This is Tyler with 3D Printer Store and I hope you have a great day. Bye.